So as part of the demo, I'm going to show how we can work on DynamoDB using the AWS console as well as like using the Java API. So first I will go over the AWS console. So log into AWS console and the list of Amazon Web Services select DynamoDB under database section. So at the top, make sure you selected the region. I s have selected US East here, which is closest to me. So then, since there are no tables, it's not listing any tables, so we have to create a new table now. So we need to specify the table name. Say product catalog. And then we need to specify the primary key type. I'll just say like hash and and then like you, you also need to specify the type of primary key. Okay, it could be a string, number, or binary. So and the name of attribute, hash attribute name. I'll just give ID. So if you want to define any additional indexes, you can add it here. So you can specify like any additional indexes here. If not, just click continue. And here we can specify the throughput capacity in read and write capacity units. So I will uh, change read units to 3 and write units to 2 for the demo. And click continue. And there is this asks you about throughput alarms you can configure. Basically, like if the read capacity units consume more than 2.4, it sends you an email notification. So you can specify like different percentage if you want to set the alarm at different uh, threshold. Click continue after, and this gives you the summary to review whatever we have created. So with this, with this throughput, it's, it's also is estimated the cost, which is dollar twenty six a month, which which is very 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 cheap, uh, cost effective. And click create to create a table. So since I al already created <coughs> an alarm, so it's asking me to resend confirmation request. So you can just click continue. So now, if you see the status of the table, it says like it's creating, and it tells you like what is the primary key, what is the hash key, and range key, and throughput. So we we'll also see like the details on like which region this is created and uh, its ARN, the, uh, Amazon resource name, for this table. If you go to the indexes tab, we since like we haven't defined any uh, secondary indexes it's not showing any otherwise like it will show like what are the sec secondary indexes here in the monitoring section of it <coughs> so we have created like uh, uh, alarm for cloudwatch alarm in the uh, while creating the table so like the so its state is like inception data but it's going to change like eventually so <coughs> there are any alarms trigger you can see the hi history uh, in past 24 hours history and uh, we can also see <coughs> excuse me <coughs> few few graphs on uh, how it looks like so how how does the read capacity looks like and how does the write capacity and uh, so how many uh, read requests like it's our write request like what is the latency kind of thing so there are a bunch of um, graphs. So, <coughs> so now, <coughs> excuse me. So here is alarm like we set up during uh, creation uh, table creation. So, and now like if you see the product catalog table, its status is changed. St sorry, status is changed to active now. 
and cloud cloud watch alarm status change it to okay because like it we finished creating those alarms so now if you want oh, so how do we add like data to this so select the table and click on export table and click on new item so we'll have attribute name type and attribute value here so attribute id you specify some number 0101 <coughs> and you can you can define any number of uh, attributes let's say like i will define say uh, product name of type string and the value is let's say car bicycle and you can define multi value attributes if you want the color let's say color type sub string select like the string set and say blue and add another color say red and then click put item which will store the item adds the item to the table so if you want to see the list of items added go back to the uh, this and like say export table again which will list the items we have added if there are multiple you will see multiple rows here so you can add more items by clicking new item or like modify an existing item by selecting the item and hit edit item and then you can add like more colors say white and say click update which will update the item so you will see color color value change you know color attribute value change you know <coughs> so to delete just select this one select select an item and then hit delete item which will ask you do you want to permanently delete from the table say click yes delete which will completely permanently remove it and to delete a table we can select the table and click delete table which will ask for the confirmation so you need to check this and then click the delete so it will also delete any cloudwatch alarms for this table and so i will i will move on to the java api now i'll stop here and move on to the java api uh, so you can change the throughput of the table if you by clicking the uh, modify throughput and it allocates resources accordingly if you change this so to delete I said like you can just select this one and say delete it will take like uh, uh, a minute about a minute like to delete the table Now I'm going to demonstrate on how we can do the same table on item operations using Java API. 